There's no ignoring the fact that everyday costs have gone up considerably and the future looks uncertain for many of us, musicians included. But there is help you can access to keep making music and moving towards your big, bold music dreams despite the cost of living crisis. One of those big, bold dreams might be learning to record your music with me inside my signature programme, Home Recording Academy, when I open up enrolment again in January 2023. And if that's the case and you're a UK-based musician, you won't want to miss my free live masterclass on September the 29th, all about how to finance your place inside Home Recording Academy through Help Musician UK's Develop Your Skills Fund. Inside, I'll walk you through step by step how to make a successful application using practical examples in an easy to understand format so that you can cover some or all of your Home Recording Academy enrolment fee. There'll also be loads of time for Q&A, so you've got everything you need to nail your application with plenty of time to join me inside this totally unique and transformative programme early next year. Don't let the recession stop you growing your skills and independence as a woman in music. Grab your spot on the workshop now at femalediymusician.com forward slash funding workshop. That's femalediymusician.com forward slash funding workshop. And let's finally make those big, bold music dreams a reality. Listen, Nob Twiddlers, I've never done this before on the podcast, but here's the thing. I've cracked the code for recording your music and taking it all the way to a finished, professional and beautiful mix, even if you're starting from scratch, in just 10 weeks. And I'm sharing all about this inside this episode. I'm sharing how I've cracked the code and how you can too. Hello and welcome to Girls Twiddling Knobs. My name's Isabel and over the last decade, my self-produced and self-released music has amassed over 25 million Spotify streams. I also have a PhD in sonic arts, but I wasn't always this confident with music tech. In fact, I still hear those self-doubt gremlins in my head from time to time. I started this podcast to help more female identifying musicians start recording and producing their music and learn from other women making music with technology. If that's your cup of tea, then you're in the right place, my friend. Let's dive in. Now, the secret weapon, dear listener. My signature course, made exclusively for female musicians, Home Recording Academy. Now, because there's a lot to cover in this episode, I'm going to keep this short so we can dive in. But here's what to expect. I'll be talking about what Home Recording Academy is all about, who it's for, what it fixes for you if you're a female musician, and what each module looks like, what's inside of the course, some results from my HRA past students. And then I'll be gushing about what HRA means not only to me, but to some of my students too. All right, without waiting another moment, let's talk all about Home Recording Academy. So first things first, I want to make sure we're hyper clear on exactly what Home Recording Academy is, which I just call HRA. And trust me when I say I've searched high and low and I strongly believe that HRA is the most comprehensive programme for recording, expanding and mixing your music from home. It really is the only implementation program of its kind and it not only shows you exactly how to create sublime home recordings of your music like an expert, but I literally walk you through my exact techniques that I've used and perfected over the years and it also shows you exactly what to do next with your recordings from applying to funding to sharing your music online. It's really the complete package put into six modules that span over the course of 10 weeks. And by the end of those modules, you walk away with a producer's ear, so knowing what to listen out for and how to articulate your ideas, a home recording setup you feel confident to use, you learn to record audio in high quality from the comfort of your own home, and you'll have nailed the fundamentals of editing and production and learn to mix like a pro so your music takes people's breath away. Above all, HRA will give you the confidence to finally take control of your music moving forward, giving yourself the freedom to choose how, when, where and with whom you make music. Freedom 
is what HRA is all about. So that's in a nutshell, and I'm going to break it down into what those six modules are in a minute. But before we get there, I want to drill down on exactly who HRA is for. So while I believe that any musician can truly master recording skills and integrate them into a successful creative practice, of course, Home Recording Academy best fits some people more than others. HRA is best for women who know they have a desire to have more freedom to create music on their terms. It could be that they've already taken their music into a commercial recording studio, only to feel far too much pressure to deliver the goods while the clock's ticking. It could also be that they've been relying on favours from often male music colleagues or friends, but they're sick of having to wait around for other people's availability. It could also be They even feel indebted in ways that might have felt uncomfortable in the past too, through this type of time-in-kind relationship. And sometimes it's just that they've always just had a really clear idea of what they want their overall sound to be, that it pains them to hand their little song babies over to someone else's vision. Now, because of all of the above, my students inside of HRA also recognise that these skills in recording and production are a highly valuable and leverageable asset. As in, they see how many new creative opportunities will come from having these skills and the amount of money they'll save down the line, being able to make their music happen without expensive studio time and solely relying on other people to get the job done. And they're patient too. They don't need to release their music next week. Sure, they'd love to but they know it's going to take a little bit of time, but that this will pay off a thousand times in energy, money and fulfilment down the line. What's most important to my students who enrol in HRA is that they want to see their effort and energy turn into recordings they can put their name to, and I totally respect that. They can ideally invest two to five hours per week building their recording skills and they're not going to quit the first time something doesn't go according to plan because we know not everything works out perfectly first time. And they are tired of starting music tech courses or being in recording studios and being the only woman in the room. They were ready years ago to learn from a woman just with other women, and feel the support and encouragement this breeds so they have the confidence and freedom to play, make mistakes, and not feel so isolated in their home recording journey. My students in HRA know that this will speed up the learning curve and be the difference between gaining recording and production skills feeling intimidating and unfriendly, and instead like the best thing they ever did for their music. And above all, An HRA student is tired of falling victim to their own inner music tech gremlins. They're finally ready to change the narrative and try something new. And they're ready to and need to let go of people pleasing or feeling not good enough and instead start operating from a place of creativity and strength and finally taking themselves seriously as a woman in music. Next stop let's talk about how HRA has supported hundreds of female musicians and what it's actually given them and their music. Everything from the essential mindset foundations to lay before you even begin, all the tech and processes involved in realising their recording projects to defining their sonic signature and everything in between. HRA covers it all. So for starters, I talk to a lot of students who have questions like how having recordings of their music and the skills to make them from home could transform their music. And they ask me questions like, well, what if I don't have any experience with music tech at all? Or what if I have absolutely no tech jargon whatsoever? Or even what if I don't have any fancy gear and have no idea what to invest in to get started? So HRA literally starts out by walking you through both the essential home recording setup that you need to have ready to get started, first and foremost. This gear definitely doesn't have to break the bank, but it does include things like investing in a mic or an audio interface, headphones, sound treatment and more. You also go through a series of really powerful listening exercises that will help you get so much clearer on how to identify and understand different recording and production techniques within other people's music, giving you the language and clarity to start defining your own sonic signature moving forward. 
Now that's a biggie that I get asked a lot. How do I know how to craft my own distinctive sound? Well, my friend, there's a process we go through in HRA that we also keep coming back to so your sound is defined and totally you. This keeps you moving with clarity later on in the programme through the recording, production and mixing of your music. But once you walk through these essential lessons inside of HRA, you'll be set up for some serious home recording success because not only does it make this whole music tech thing feel personal to you, it really does help on the days when you're struggling a little with the tech or getting really into the weeds of recording. Because tech issues are a common hurdle that can totally stop many women from recording their music altogether. It can make many otherwise capable female musicians totally give up on the idea of recording their music. HRA students, however, don't. And here's why. Not only does the process of really imagining your sound right from the beginning of the programme help instil a sense of excitement right from the off... So too does the whole bonus module I offer on overcoming your music tech mindset blocks. We dig deep into the types of internal narratives and external challenges that might have stopped you from mastering recording and production in the past and why and how it's going to be different inside of HRA. This alone has helped countless women inside the programme go farther than they ever thought with music technology and is a key component to its female-focused approach. Secondly, HRA provides students with an entire tutorial library with videos and PDFs to walk you through step-by-step how to do things like set up your first recording channel inside your door, use EQ and compression all the way through to finishing off your mixes and so much more. For example, one of my students said the materials were excellent, comprehensive and easy to understand, while another said the programme was just so well put together. No, crafted really. Isabel's knowledge and guidance, not just in terms of the tech, but showing up as a human with so much compassion, putting in such a personal touch for each and every participant was the icing on the cake. Hearing my students say things like that about all the technical tutorials I share inside, well, I'm over the moon because that's exactly what I wanted to do in this course. Teach you what to do, when to do it and how to do it, but on your terms in a way that feels right for your music. And I never want the tech to be an excuse for not having the freedom to express yourself musically. That's why I really, really make an effort in this course to walk you through it. Saying that though, one of the things I'm passionate about is not just providing another music tech course that kind of acts like a manual to one specific door. Not that there's anything wrong with doing an online course on Logic Pro or Ableton per se, it's just that I know how much more powerful it is to have a grounding in the key concepts of creative recording and production, whatever software you're using, so that you'll always have that foundational know-how wherever you're working and whatever you're using. I want HRA to work regardless of what door you use and that's why there's lots of extra resources to help you get the very most out of whatever software you're on. I also encourage students inside HRA to connect with one another if they're using the same program or software and we've even seen little Logic Pro posses and Ableton WhatsApp groups forming inside too. Which takes me on to another big thing inside the program, support. Now, I know being truly supported is something that's crucial for many women learning and growing their recording and production skills. And that is why inside of HRA, you get access to a bonus 10 week live delivery inside a private members only community with your fellow HRA students. Now, this is a space just for women who have enrolled at the same time and inside. I go live for an hour twice a week to give a more personal, deeper dive into all of the modules and also answer any questions you might have moving through the programme. I love providing this for my students because it means that not only can they get to know me and their fellow HRA family, but there's never a question that has to be left unanswered or a loose end that hasn't been tied up. HRA students also get lifetime access to all the videos, PDFs and other learning materials inside the program so that they can go at their own pace. I know how spread thin so many women are. For a lot of my students, music is a side hustle to their nine to five. And then some of my students actually have a really thriving, busy career in music already, but 
just want to learn how to have more creative control as a female musician. So there's a lot of different journeys or people on different journeys through HRA. And many of them have families, very typically demanding days and lives. So I know it's really important they have flexibility about how long they can take to go through the course and how much time they dedicate week by week or month by month too. And this is why students also get access to all future updates of HRA too. So even if I add a new module a year after you join, you'll still get access to this and any other new additions. All of this means that my HRA students know they're part of something so much more supportive and intensive than just another online music tech course. It really is designed to meet women exactly where they're at, not where the industry tells them they should be. Another great benefit to being part of HRA is the wider community you become part of. Even after the 10-week live delivery is over, you are then invited to join the alumni community with access to ongoing support and encouragement from hundreds of other women who have gone through the programme. Inside, we've had things like Christmas open mic nights, student hot seats and monthly Q&As with me, and it really does feel like a family of female musicians who just get it. Okay, switching gears just a little bit, I want to take some time to walk you through the modules that are found in HRA and why they're an important part of the process of recording from home. As I mentioned earlier, module one is all about training yourself to listen to recordings with a producer's ear and start defining your sonic signature. And module two helps you to put in place the core home recording setup that will create professional sounding recordings without the overwhelm and unnecessary expense so important. There's also some great bonus resources that kick things off, including the bonus module I mentioned on overcoming your music tech mindset blocks. And I also offer a home recording setup audit right when people first enroll in HRA, just in case anyone feels anxious to get the absolute essentials put in place before we even begin. All right, so module three is where I walk you through making recordings. And if you love a step-by-step tutorial, this module is for you. I bring you through the process of getting mics set up correctly, making sure your recording session is set up professionally and you hit record with absolute confidence so you can start building your wonderful recordings. Plus, it's a lot of fun because by the end of this module, your recordings will be fully outlined, ready for refining in the next module. I'm talking instrumental parts, lead vocals, backing vocals and even field recordings if you're into that kind of thing. The main audio components will be there inside your session, and this all happens in Module 3. I'll teach you how to professionalise your recording process so you're ready to get into all the juicy stuff that's to come next. So next up, Module 4, another step-by-step. Are you seeing a theme here? That's how I designed this entire programme. So Module 4 is all about mastering the fundamentals of editing and production. At this point, you've done so much legwork. You have your recordings fully mapped out. And because of that, you can learn all the techniques in Module 4 as you refine your little music babies. This is where things start to get really creative as you start to loop and splice your audio, create seamless fades and cuts and shape your sound using powerful tools such as EQ, reverb and compression. But you don't just use these plugins, you get a deep understanding of what they actually do to sound itself so that you can confidently and creatively apply them to your sound, something that means you'll really be able to create atmosphere within your music. Now, module five. Okay, this is probably my favourite. It's all about mixing and bringing all the groundwork and experimentation together. From creating what's called a static mix to using automation and even experimenting with a teeny bit of psychoacoustics too. It's all in this module. Given that your mix is typically one of the biggest components to a recording sounding professional, it's important to get the craft of mixing your music down to a T. I even share my process of what I call combing out the tangles, which I have developed after years of mixing both music and experimental sound and would help you create mixes that truly take people's breath away without melting your head. And last but certainly not least, module six is all about what to do next with your new recordings, because you and I know it doesn't stop at the final mix. 
We talk about everything from getting your tracks mastered, sharing your music online and using your recordings to apply for funding to release your music, all the way through to using your newfound recording skills to hone your song craft, plan paid for studio time if you want to do that and keep developing your music tech skills as well. We cover lots of different areas in this module and I really see it as a sort of plug and play collection of resources you can use for years to come and in the order that suits your music too. While one student might really want to keep diving deeper into even more music tech skills and techniques, another student may be ready to get their mixes mastered and up online. It's such a personal process moving forward after HRA and so Module 6 helps you through the pathway that suits you as an individual musician. Okay, so that was a lot to cover, but it doesn't stop there. On top of those modules, we also include a resources library with things like extra links to podcast episodes, examples of key concepts in action and books or music that deepen your understanding further. But you also get an entire tech tutorial library too. Now what's cool is you get access to a list of digital audio workspace tutorials and help guides so that no matter the software you're using to record with, you'll always be able to get super specific answers to your questions. I also give you a breakdown of which doors I recommend depending on your computer system as I always get asked which is best to start or progress with too. So by now, you might be thinking, okay, Isabel, this sounds pretty cool. But what kind of results do students get after going through HRA? And that's a really great question. I just want to say that while every effort has been made to accurately represent HRA and the educational value it provides, the results I'm going to share are obviously not guaranteed, dear listener. When I present the things my students have been able to achieve as a result of going through the programme, please know that I'm showcasing results that aren't guaranteed and the things you do inside and beyond the programme will be determined by a number of factors specific to your own situation, such as your experiences, skill, level of effort, education and changes within the wider world. Now, that being said, I know the opportunity this programme can provide and I want that for anyone who enrols in HRA. So here are a few fun results from the programme. First up by student Grace, who goes under the artist's name of Mayfair Lady, who went through HRA and for the first time felt truly supported to learn about recording and production. She's had some less than satisfactory experiences with producers in the past and wanted to gain more creative control going back into the studio. Grace went in to co-produce her first album all thanks to the skills and confidence that she learnt inside the programme And she now has thousands of Spotify streams on her self-produced music. And then another student I just love to talk about is Paula, whose audiologist husband listened to the recordings she was making inside of HRA and could not believe his ears. Now, this man understands sound and audio. And when his self-confessed technophobic wife was playing him her new recordings, he just could not believe the quality. Paula says, thanks to HRA, if a musician walked into my home and asked me to record them, I now feel totally confident I could do a great job, which is something I'd never have imagined before. And lastly, meet Flaming June, aka Louise, who after going through HRA produced her album, Hope in the Jar, which has landed her press, radio and even an award to boot. Louise says she's now looking forward to starting work on a new EP in October, using what she's learned in HRA to bring these new ideas to life. I just love those stories, and trust me, I have plenty more, not to mention my students Asha and Kat, who I featured over the last couple of weeks here on the podcast. But the beautiful thing about HRA is that it's full of students of all ages, all locations, all backgrounds, and all genres of music. I'll live and die by the belief that you can truly record amazing quality music from home and every musician has a recording project in them. All right, now let's have a heart to heart. I wanted to share a little bit about what HRA means to me and why I created this female-focused music tech programme. I created it because I know how transformative having the ability to record your music from home is for women in music. I saw this for myself years back when I was just getting started, after feeling frustrated at not getting anywhere, waiting for someone to come along and give me a way into music. And I went for it. 
started learning to record myself bit by bit, failed and messed up a few more times than I could count on one hand. But I went ahead and I figured it out so I could get my music out of my head and into recordings that have taken me further as a musician than any amount of waiting and hustling and hoping ever could. And I hope what I and my students have done shows you what's possible, dear listener. I never teach what I haven't done myself. I'm drawing from 10 plus years experience making, teaching and learning music recording and production. And here's the thing. If you have felt frustrated like I was back in the day, you don't have to stay where you are right now. Sure, you may be there temporarily, but I see big things for you. You don't have to stay feeling powerless to get your music ideas off the ground. You don't have to live with that urge to create and do something creative kept buried deep down inside. You don't have to keep begging and borrowing other people's time just to get some recordings you may not even be happy with through an experience you may not even enjoy. You are smart enough and creative enough and worthy of having recordings of your music and the skills to create them. And this can lead you to whatever kind of creative freedom and opportunities you can imagine. I created HRA to be that support for you, to be the catalyst to get you from your temporary place, where you are right here, right now, to accomplishing your big, bold dreams as a musician. It's basically your guide or framework to start showing up as a female musician in the 21st century. When I was working in my arts admin job, Way back when I was living in London, I knew I had something bigger in my heart. I knew that I couldn't go to my deathbed, not having got the music I'd been writing and performing and crafting for years out of me into something tangible that I could share. It might sound dramatic, but I have a feeling that you probably get what I mean. I couldn't bear the thought of exiting this life, not having made my music into recordings that other people could hear. Something more permanent than a gig something more crafted and considered than a voice memo. And I couldn't have imagined how that would eventually translate into success. I thought it might be a record deal eventually, but it wasn't, because Spotify and streaming and a whole new industry came along that didn't exist before, and that's why I'm not going to sit here and guarantee a set of specific results in terms of where your recordings might take you. Chances are those future opportunities may not have even been invented yet. But one thing I do know is any woman I've ever talked to who's developed these skills in recording and production has always said it's one of the most empowering things they've ever done for their career and their creativity, and that is why I made HRA. HRA is me saying to all my potential students and current students, you can be creatively independent. You don't have to do music the same old-fashioned way, the way that's kept women hidden and reliant on other people for far too long in the industry. You can have more freedom and more creative control and the music you want to make the way you want to make it. Because here's the thing, dear listener. Think of all the stories and voices that have been left out of mainstream music over the last few decades of the recording industry. How many female stories are there that we'd finally get to hear if female artists had the tools to get them into recordings, the skills that, with the right community, support and encouragement and learning materials that meet women where they're at, could finally give voice to women around the world. It's that big and it's that profound. Learning to record my music literally changed my life. If I didn't start recording way back when I was doing my MA to where I am today, I would not have the career and the choices I have. I wouldn't have hundreds of students that I've helped shape their musical journey too. So at the end of the day, HRA is a programme that supports female musicians in creating and shaping a music career and an artistic practice that they absolutely love. It's me saying I believe in you and let me believe in you, especially on the days when it may feel difficult to believe in yourself. That's what HRA is all about, empowering yourself as a woman in music to go for the things that you dream of and desire. So there you have it. I wanted to spend a little time letting you know why I created HRA, what HRA can do for you and what's included inside the programme. HRA is transformative. 
I've seen it time and time again with my students and I know the power of this programme. I hope you enjoyed an insider's view into HRA. And if you're listening and thinking, Isabel, you've basically designed the perfect programme for me. How can I join you inside? You are in luck because HRA enrolment is currently open and you can find out more over at homerecordingacademy.co.uk forward slash enrol. I only open the doors twice a year for a limited time and enrolment closes this time round on October the 1st, 6pm GMT. So head to homerecordingacademy.co.uk forward slash enrol and let's transform how you make music and all the possibilities this can bring. Now, on next week's episode, I am delighted to bring a wonderful guest on the podcast, the super talented Dee Hexen. For the last couple of years, Dee has been consistently growing a career writing to picture for a genre that is probably best described as supernatural thriller and even esoteric horror. Her music combines lush, thick textures and pulsating frequencies and, as you'll discover in my chat with Dee, has been a crucial component for her understanding, channeling and even managing internal pain. I can't wait to dive into that and more with her next week. But till then, take care and I'll catch you here soon. Girls Twiddling Knobs is hosted and produced by me, Isabel Anderson, with production support from Francesca O'Connor and is a female DIY musician production. So, how do you like that episode, dear listener? If you loved it, and you know someone else who would love it too, be a good friend and share it with them. Go on, spread the girls' twiddling knobs love.